and see how the sure stroke cutting trainer worked. Uh, see if you want to get one. So um, here's the video I told you I'd make it. So the trainer is very simple. You can keep it in your golf bag. You can slide it down in one of the slots. It goes in the uh, umbrella holder. You know, all different places that you can actually, you know, keep it. It's lightweight, easy to carry around. It's made out of stainless steel uh, for the rod inside, so it'll hold its position pretty well after you you fit it to yourself. Once you fit it, what you do is you just slide it inside the hole of the putter and it'll go down as a sleeve here and you cut the fit to your length. You put it on, it's built like a crutch arm, so you just kind of put it on your arm like it's a crutch and you see that club face may be out of alignment at first. You just make sure you square up that club face so it's, it's nice and vertical. From here all I have to do is bend over into my posture and get set up and I'm ready to make a stroke. As I make my stroke back and through, if I do everything correctly, I don't feel anything. Everything just feels like it works in one unit, it's nice and smooth. If I try to bend my wrist, the whole thing wiggles, it feels real funny. If I try to twist my, my hands you know, too much, I can feel it inside the shaft. I can feel it actually catching in there and it, it creates quite a, a, a feedback system that you, you know immediately. So if you have any you know, extra rotation of your arms and hands, or if you try to bend your wrist too much as you're putting, it gives you immediate feedback. So when you get set up, all you have to do is make your stroke just back and through. And you're going to find that that stroke you know, is going to work more naturally for your body, the way your body's built. You can train it one-handed, right-handed only. And you can train it two-handed. What this is going to show you is that in the putting stroke, instead of it just being all shoulders and trying to keep the arms and hands still, there's a hinge angle that happens between your shoulders and your right arm. And this device allows you to, to naturally create that hinge angle you know, without flipping your wrist, rolling your forearms. So you're going you're gonna to find that it's going to make a, a golf stroke where your shoulders are still rocking, creating the basic motion, but the, the right arm is going to actually be able to hinge the right shoulder. And that action actually helps you control the distance of your strokes. The greater it hinges and the faster that motion is, the more energy there is in the stroke. So one of our natural ways of controlling pace in the stroke is just understanding how that hinge angle at that right shoulder works in the golf stroke. The other thing we're going to see from this angle is once I get set up is that my forearms and the shaft make a straight line. So instead of having my wrist bent too much downward, you know, in the, in the shaft, you know, at a much flatter angle, or going more vertical with the shaft. When we get set up, we can see that it keeps this relationship between the forearms and the shaft constant. So when I bend over and I get ready to make my stroke, throughout my stroke, that's staying constant. So we don't have any deviation of the shaft upward and downward as far as vertical and too flat in relation to the forearm. So it does help you create more of a plane stroke where the, the shaft and the forearm stay on the same plane. All right, I hope this gives you the basic information you're looking for. If you do want to get one, go ahead and let me know. I'm working on getting that uh, VHS tape uh, transferred over so I can put it on CDs as well. And uh, so that you'll have all the drills that go along with it as well. The, uh, the video actually shows you how to fit the custom fit the uh, training aid to yourself. And it also gives you a bunch of drills that you can learn and use to be a better putter. All right, take care.